And Frank, firstly, tell us why exactly Bagbo has been released from prison almost around a decade early. Um, well, we think it's to diffuse the political tensions that are mounting here and as a show of um, political reconciliation in the country. Um, as, as you said, she's one of 800 political prisoners who were pardoned by President Ouattara um, just before Independence Day. And the president, when he, when he did the pardoning, spoke of a commitment to peace and true con reconciliation in the country. That's something he's been criticised for not doing so far. Um, he's been criticised for not doing much to heal the, the wounds of the violence from the 2010 election, um, when Laurent Gbagbo, Simone's husband, refused to step down when the election results showed that the current president, President Ouattara, had won. And then Laurent and Simone were captured after the, the violence um, in 2011. Um, Laurent was sent to the International Criminal Court in The Hague for crimes against humanity, and Simone was kept under house arrest. And um, at the time, President Ouattara also rejected the International Criminal Court's call to put Simone on trial. That was in 2012, saying that the country had its own legal system and would deal with it. And that's when she was, she was charged for, with endangering the state in 2015. Um, so other charges about her involvement in um, the violence after 2010 have been dropped. And then just last week, that acquittal was overturned. And so then a few days later, she was pardoned. So there's been a lot of back and back and forth, um, all whilst political tensions are mounting in the country. So it's been seen as a sort of um, big sign of reconciliation. And yet, it hasn't gone down well with everyone. There's a lot of uh, demonstrations, I believe, or people voicing at least their anger, uh, really not impressed with this idea of amnesty given to political prisoners. No, there has been um, mixed responses. Um, yes, they were having a very unanimous response, at least officially from the different political parties and people we spoke to here. And they were definitely in support of the president's move, seeing it as a significant move towards reconciliation. And really, this is all because the country is looking ahead already to the 2020 general election and looking ahead with some concern because the president has... Um, recently attempted to roll the parties that make up the governing coalition into a new single party where he would decide the next candidate, if not stand himself. Um, then one of the main parties, which should have been in that new single party, has rejected this, um, and they went to put forward their own candidate. But this other party, the PDCI, they backed President Ouattara in previous elections, which had allowed the stability that the country's seen more recently. So there's anger that um, he he's um, now freeing all sorts of different political prisoners because some are actually on his side. Some of them are allied to rebel leaders who supported President Ouattara um, in 2010-11 period. So there's a, there's a huge range of opinions starting to come out now. Um, but a lot are still positive that things are being done for um, reconciliation, trying to get the country back together again.